Hey guys, how you doing? I am back with a quickie tutorial. A lot of people have been asking me how I chrome clear visors. So I've got a couple to do today and I figured I'd bust my video camera out and show you the steps. So it's really simple. There's a there's three products that I've used. One of them is Westolium Mirror Effect. The other is a Krylon. It's called Looking Glass. And the third is Spaztex. So let's look at the my samples here one by one. This is the Rustoleum mirror. And you can see it's a pretty good chrome. And the vision out of it is pretty good. The next one is looking glass. Not as chromey. Let's look at it here on the table. It's not as chromey. It's more silvery. It's pretty good though. And the vision out of it, just fine. This is the one I'll be using today, Spaztex. It's a great, great chrome paint, and it really works great for this process. So look at this chrome. So nice. And the vision, just fine. It obscures all three of these, obscures vision just a tiny bit, but not very much. But the effect that you get is great. I mean, that's my fingers behind here. I mean, when this is on inside of a helmet in an enclosed area, you just can't see through it. But inside the helmet, you can see just fine. All right, let me show you. I'm just going to do one of these on camera. Let me show you the steps for getting a clear dome chrome. First thing I want to do is use my air compressor and just blow off any debris. And you'll notice that there are two layers of protective film on this. I ship this with both layers on. And take off this inner layer. I'm wearing gloves. I don't want to get my finger oils on the inside surface of this. I want it to stay really clean. Okay, here we go with Spaztex. I shook this up for a few minutes, cleared the nozzle, and I am ready to go. So basically, I'm just going to stay six to eight inches off the surface, and I'm going to do this in three or four coats. Only do the inside. Okay, I'm going to stop right there and let that cure for a couple of minutes. I'll come back and do a second layer. Okay, here goes the second layer. The reason why you don't want to do this all at once is you don't want the chance of any paint drips stripping down into the basin of this dome. And this works for flat lenses. So I was going to say, this doesn't have to just be domes. You can do this on any clear piece of plastic or glass. I've done that before too. I just finished a job for for Disney where I had to do a whole bunch of these. And this works just great. All right, so there is layer number two. And I think I'll peel that off so you can see it a little bit better. But boy, look at that already. That's two coats. Just want to do light coats. My vision is still very good, so I'm going to go in with one more coat, real light. Gonna make sure I get these edges. Just a real light third coat. Okay, let's let this, I'm going to let this dry for about 15-20 minutes, and we'll come back and I'll show you what the vision is like out of this dome. So you're going to want to let this dry for an hour or two in, in the sunlight, get some breeze on there. Um, your clarity will improve over time as that paint fully cures, your clarity totally improves. But while that's drying, let me show you a comparison. This was done with, I think, the looking glass, or it might have been the mirror effect. Pretty much the same result from those two products. It's a great dome. I mean, nothing to complain about. But, look at this guy. This was done with the Spaztex. And this actually still has its protective film on, so it's even 
It's even more chrome. So you can see the difference here. Spaztex versus the mirror chrome and looking glass. Sometimes I ship these with a white protective wrap on the outside. Uh, sometimes it's clear. So let's go ahead and unmask these and see what we have. Look at that. Gorgeous. Chrome domes. Let's see what the vision is like. I'm going to give this a little bit of a polish, a little bit of a buff on the interior. Okay, I'm going to give this guy just a little bit of an interior polish. Get rid of any kind of accumulation in there. Let me show you what the vision is like. So, I'm not in an enclosed space, so this is much better if you were in a dark helmet. But look at this. Clarity is pretty good. It's just a little bit of light occlusion, but not much. I mean, I can see everything really clear through this. And this is no camera trick. This is the chrome dome. And that's very simply it. Spaztex is the best chrome I've been able to find for doing this treatment on clear parts. Again, you can use looking glass, not as shiny, mirror effect, not as shiny, both very good if you couldn't find Spaztex, but this is what I highly recommend. Okay, I hope you found that chroming tutorial useful. I know a lot of you guys have been bugging me for it. And there it is. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe. See you soon.